guys, today I have a video for you all about products that I have repurchased. I have quite an assortment of Lush things, makeup things, other random skincare beauty related items that I have bought more than once, that I have finished, and then I will continue to purchase unless I find something better for what it does. I don't know. But I'll start with the Lush things because I can skim over them because there's a lot. I'm a bit of a lotion hoarder. Uh, I did a blog post about all the, the lotions and hand creams I own from Lush. Uh, there's nine of them. But the one that I've repurchased, I don't even know how many dozen times. Dream Cream. Continue to buy this. I will continue to buy this. I love it. It's so good. Lemony Flutter. This is my third pot of Lemony Flutter. I love it. I use it on my feet at nighttime. It is really moisturizing and it smells wonderful. This one was made by Greg. Ooh, who made that dream cream? Lewis. I didn't get to meet at either of those guys at the factory on Monday because I went to the factory on Monday. Oh my god, I got to meet Susan and Dan and Jess and Audrey. It was super fucking cool. But anyway, Lovely Jubblies is another lotion that I've repurchased. Uh, this was my first pot and I already have my backup over there. And uh, it is a tightening and firming cream for the girls. But it works. For face stuff, uh, Ultra Bland. This was my second pot of Ultra Bland, and I have my new one in the bathroom. I love this stuff. It is my holy grail, deep cleanser, goodness, awesome stuff. And then Celestial Facial Moisturizer, which is my favorite moisturizer. I straight away last winter and bought Skin Shangri-La um, because I wanted more moisture. Turns out it was a little bit too much for my whole face, so I've been using that one as an eye cream to kind of use it up, and I really, really like it, but uh, I will continue to use Celestial. And this one was made by Nick. I met Nick too. Aroma Water is my favorite toner water. Uh, I'm almost done. Well, I guess I have I, some big bottles of it left. I did meet Madu. Um, this is my second bottle. The first bottle I had was a baby one, um, and this one's lasted me for a real long time. And then the last Lush thing that I, uh, have repurchased, and I will continue to repurchase, is the American Cream Hair Conditioner. It is my favorite hair conditioner we have. Um, sometimes I mix this with Happy Happy Joy Joy, which I also love. Um, I just haven't finished a bottle of that yet. Uh, I love American Cream. It is so good. It smells amazing. It's really detangling. And it smells like strawberries. Like what? And it's preservative free. Um, one other skincare product that I have rebought several times is the Bioderma uh, Sensibio Micellar Solution. Um, when I went to Essential.com last time, they only had the little bottles. For some reason, they didn't have like the big 500 mils, which was kind of dumb. But Essential was having a 30% off all French pharmacy brands, so I was able to get this and then another bottle. I bought two at a time, uh, so that way I wouldn't have to buy it like again very soon. Um, and I love this stuff. It is my lazy day morning, just like kind of clean off any sort of debris that have like built up on my face overnight and uh, I like this one with just a cotton pad and it's awesome. It's really soothing. It's good. So many bottles over the last two years. I love it though. And then the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. Uh, this is my second bottle and I'm like, I have so much of this left. But um, I really love this sea salt spray. I like the Lush Sea spray, I just prefer the smell of this one better. The only nail polish I've ever rebought is the Seshvit top coat. Because this is the best top coat I've ever used ever. Um, I, I didn't put it on my nails last time. The only problem is the shape of the bottle in that once you get to like right here, it starts to go like really goopy. So you're wasting a lot of product at the bottom of it, which I kind of hate. Um, the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. This is the uh, powder one, obviously. Uh, I'm in Fairly Medium. I've talked about this before. Um, this is probably my th third pot of this. Um, I love it. And it's, it's a foundation that I've gone back to many times after like other foundations haven't worked for me. Um, because I just, it's, it's old faithful. Tarte mascaras. 
Uh, I think this is my second tube of the Lights Camera Flashes. Um, I bought Lights Camera Lashes twice. Tarte mascaras are my favorite mascaras I've ever used, ever, ever, in terms of high-end. Revlon Grow Lushes is my favorite drugstore mascara, but I just, I, I keep going back to this one. I don't know. It's, it's my holy grail mascara, and it lasts me so long. And then the last thing that I haven't necessarily purchased for myself ever, because it's impossible, but <laughs> how many of these have I gone through? I don't. No. The Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Um, this one I probably started using in like December, November. And you can't really see, but there it is like dry. There's like nothing left in here. I finally just gave up on this one today. I'm gonna throw it away. Finally opened up a new one. And then I got another one from uh, Hattie. Love you, Hattie. She also got me this lip product and the eyeliner I'm wearing. But this is my favorite concealer I've ever used. It actually matches my coloring and it goes light enough for me. I know I finished up at least two. So that was my third tube of that concealer. And now I have two more. Thank you, United Kingdom subscribers. Whenever I honestly get any package from somebody from the UK, they always remember include one of these because I can't get it here. Yay. So I guess those are all the things that I have repurchased. There are things that I like bought multiple times in the past that I've stopped using, but um, those are things that I am all currently using and that I will keep using. I hope this was helpful in some way, shape or form. Um, these are definitely products that I love. Holy grail stuff, holy grail stuff right there. Today's song of the day, Oh, it is one of my new favorite songs for summertime. It is adorable. It's by a band called Taco Cat. Their name is a, a palindrome. And they played at Sasquatch and they're fucking adorable. They're like candy punk rock precious, but also like rock hard. Um, the song is called Bridge to Hawaii because that's impossible. They have, they have blue hair and wear like crop tops with Skittles on them. And they had bubbles at Sasquatch. Go check out that song, go check out Taco Cat. I like them a lot. I have a lot of fun pictures of them from Sasquatch, which I will put a link to below. Other than that, uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.